Kashata. The Swahili candy. But then, since this is a Swahili snack, let me tell you a Swahili joke. You see, in Swahili, the name Meno means teeth. And you guys know what menopause is, right? So, let me give you my version of the word menopause. That's a menopause. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Michael Pigo's Therapy. So for the ingredients in this recipe, you're going to need the following. A coconut, from a coconut you're going to get a coconut shavings. These are shavings. Uh, I just put them in the sun for them to dry a little. If you don't know how to get these shavings, um, I'll leave a link at the end of the video where you can see me getting uh, these shavings from a coconut using nothing but a spoon and a knife, the coconut mi milk uh, vlog. Anyway, from there you're going to need a cardamoms or you can use vanilla essence if you want. This is red food canary. Um, I chose red. Um, you can choose yellow or orange, but don't choose a weird color again, like green or blue. If you find a guy using a blue food coloring in this recipe, um, that guy is a straight up psycho. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is some sugar and some water and a little salt at the end of it. So the first thing you're going to do in a heated pan, throw in some water, just like half a cup of water and your sugar. So as to make this taste, we want to make this uh, syrup, it's sort of like caramel. You know, there's no English name for the for cashata, so I'm just going to call it uh, coconut caramel. <laughs> and to that, we're going to add some cardamom. If you want, you can use vanilla essence. I'm using cardamom, they're more traditional. Like a full teaspoon in that, and your red food coloring. And use a teaspoon depending on, on how concentrated your food coloring is. Then stir this in and wait for it to become a thick syrup. Okay, like five seven minutes in the heat, you'll see that these bubbles are formed, and then you, you can use the ah damn it test again. Put your finger in, and then when it gets sticky, and then you scream out, ah damn it! <laughs> you know that it's ready. You know you want that consistency of like honey, just like the achari recipe. Okay, now here we're going to throw in our coconut shavings, little by little, as we stir this in and wait for it to come together, you know, like that. See how it's forming that uh, thick Like caramel. Yeah. Now cook this in until it all congeals together. Okay, a few minutes in, you see the stage where it is. Now turn off the gas and pour it onto a, a surface for shaping. Into a clean surface. And then you flatten it out like this. This is some really hot syrup and you don't want to touch it with your hand. Shape it out. Nice and flat. And then you wait for it to cool down and congeal together. Okay guys, after they've like cooled down, you can cut them. You wait for them to cool down first. I like to sprinkle a little bit of salt to balance, you know, to balance that sugar out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, go try this Swahili snack. It's really delicious. Mm. And if you're wondering how to get the coconut shavings, here's the link at the at the end of this video. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.